Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've just watched my last video, you'll see that this video, I haven't moved. I'm still sitting here in the same space. So I am going to try and film on my phone today because my camera, my dog is the button. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm still sitting in the same place I was when I said goodbye on the last video. You might have noticed, but I am just going to sit here and just craft the night away. Um, I'm going to be making some resin key rings in the shape of these jigsaw puzzles. This is a gorgeous little, I think it was a chocolate mould I got from eBay a long while ago, a few pounds. Um, and yeah, it was World Autism Awareness Day yesterday um, and April is Autism Awareness Month. So um, if you know me, you'll know that that is my full time job, my nine to five. It's what I've been doing years and years and years. I absolutely love it. And I've got a friend who has asked me for one of these. So I'm going to make a few nice bright colours and I'm going to try out more of these amazing mica powders. So I am going to try and film on my phone again because my Canon camera is letting me down big time. I don't think he knows who I am. <laughs> Let's go. So I am using this craft resin today and it is equal parts, perfect. So I'm gonna use these two cups to measure equal parts. They have got measurements on the side of the cups but I prefer to see it by eye, both the same and then pour them into one cup, mix them, pour them back, mix them and then use them. So one way, one helpful tip that I've actually learned from Resin Ace is actually to, if you wanna find out how much resin you need, fill the cavities with rice, um, or a sub, you know, and then weigh that so then you know exactly how much resin you need. Am I going to do that? Probably not, but <laughs> it's a great tip for anyone who really wants to measure their resin down to the very last gram. So this mold has got seven cavities for the pen, the um, jigsaw puzzle pieces. Guys, check out these colors. Uh, uh, I am going bright here today. I'm using the brightest colours possible. I just feel like we all need a bit of colour and I cannot wait. Now, the person I am making these specifically for have requested a pink and a blue. So that is what I'm going to be doing for them. But the rest, bright colours, who knows where they're going to end up. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you.
filled these colors are popping my actual favorite color was the green this color here as it kind of like started to mix in oh it just popped but yeah so that's them done we'll come back tomorrow 24 hours and we'll hook them up to some keychains so i've left this now for two days three days um had a busy weekend and yeah i thought i'd come back and do the demold i'm loving these colors solid as a rock i also had some leftovers and poured them into some other molds so let's get going To turn these into key rings, you will need your drill. Um, if you buy some resin kits, they come with a tiny, tiny little screwdrivery kind of drill thing. Does not go into completely cured resin. It was almost impossible. So I've got my drill here with the tiniest bit I've got. You could probably get smaller, a lot smaller, but this is the bit that I use to make these into key rings. Then you will need optional um uv resin this is what i use as glue i don't make much out of uv resin i'm not a fan but it is a cool glue it does work as a glue it's handy and then you will need your uv light and your attachments your clasps your key ring whatever key ring kind of design you're going for um i bought these massive kind of kit of about 50 to 100 can't remember how many i got in amazon a while back they come with the little um eyelet hooks and they come with um these things here that you then have to use your wire cutters thingies <laughs> to squeeze them closed and that's pretty much it sounds like a lot of faff but it's really not so i'm just going to go ahead and drill some holes into these you want to be careful and you want to put your mask on so i'm going to do that now and then drill my holes
guys that is them they are all completely key chained up what do you think i feel like i'm holding a rainbow of dreams <laughs> sorry oh look see this is my canon this is what it's doing to me lately you know what you will think um so the blue one and the pink one are going to tim um not my um partner tim another tim on my instagram he is the one that requested the blue and the pink um, but the others they're up for grabs guys so the awkward thing is for me at the moment is that I can't really get out to the post office it's not an essential um, trip out so if you're interested in any of these of course give me a shout it's just I won't be posting them until 2023 when life is back to normal but yeah <laughs> I'm kidding, it won't be that long. But let me know what you think. I've absolutely loved making these and I just think the colours are, I don't know, feel like I need the rainbow in my life right now. My next video, I'm going to be just doing a really little simple one. Um, I'll quickly show you. So a friend of mine, oh, let me zoom out. A friend of mine called Nick over at Nick's Customs custom wood um he made these for me on his cnc machine um that is a electronic laser cutting machine um that of course i don't have I'll, I'll never have one of those but he made me three letter c's um i did order them from him um claire's crafty corner you can see that there really lovely mdf um with the words engraved out so i need to paint these um, I'm not sure what colour to do them. I don't know whether to go bright again. And I also don't know whether to fill these with resin. Only because they're tiny. But this is my next project. It's a small little video. But I thought I'd bring you along anyway. We can have a chat. And um, yeah. I hope you like this one. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Stay safe. Stay inside. If you're in America, ignore your your ruler stay inside <laughs> sorry to get political but you know how it is i'll speak to you all soon bye